Welcome. This is David Bowles, Human Meme. Today's topic, Time is Running Out. I think we can all agree that life, as we know it, is precious, especially our lives in particular. And life is precious only because time is forever draining away from us after we take our first breath of life. We are all trying to stay alive, even though we don't like talking about dying. But we sure do seem to spend a lot of time and effort trying not to die. We visit the doctor. We take supplements. We exercise. We eat right. We try to look both ways before we cross the street. We try to avoid, as best we can, knowable danger and death. No smoking. No drinking. Take your shots and heal from your vaccination. And yet, after all of that, we are still scared about the inevitable end. And we are unaware while always watching, as the clock ticks down against us, enumerating the nanoseconds left in our lives. And yes, we are in the middle of a game but we don't know the score. And we don't know how much time is left on that clock. But we do seem to somehow know that when the game is over, we are finished. And yet so many of us live our lives without discretion or valor. We denigrate each other for a little bit of fame and a tiny bit of money. We sell each other out to live in a slightly smaller slice of the American dream. And we like to convince ourselves that we do think that life is fast and precious. We like to believe there is no time for delay. We want to know there's no time for feeling bad about things we cannot control. There is just too much to do. And my human meme friend, there are others around us who know the clock is ticking against them and us. And they play their power to take that time away from us. Instead of enabling us to live a long and fruitful life, they want to clamp us down. They want to camp on us, steal our time for their time. And they hold on to us and they imprison us until the buzzer sounds and they hope we go before they go. And for some reason, those people who sit on us biding our time away from us. They think that is the definition of power, to steal time away from other people. And if you happen to fight back against that being sat upon, their repression, their stealing of your moments, well, then they become more determined. They will spend more of their life, their time, trying to lower the amount of living you have left. And that is a really dangerous dyad that is both displeasing and repugnant. And so everything you decide to do with your life must be influenced by this recognition. The clock is ticking against me. I don't know the score. I don't know how much time is left. I've got to get moving. I cannot stop. And then you have to hurry and hunt and worry 
that you need to get everything done before the horn blows. But that knowledge should never stop you from taking on a big risk or a years-long project because you fear you'll die before you're done. But you should be aware of the ticking life clock as you sit around and play video games or spend time browsing online or just sitting around feeling sorry for yourself. Get up! Move around! Push time back as best you can with your agile mind and your healthy heart and your oh-so-delicious innards. And hey, you might not be able to change time, but you can prolong the inevitable. If you work at keeping your entire mind, body, and soul healthy and in the right state of mind, And yes, there are some who may disagree with all of this and that. Those some may believe a life is predetermined and that we have no free will or choice in the world. And all of that is fine and all of that is interesting on a nihilistic anti-human level. But is it coincidence or pre-planning when the heart attack victim survives and then actively changes eating and exercise habits to squeeze out another 40 years of living? Now, maybe that, too, is all pre-planned somewhere by someone or something. But people tend not to want to change their lives unless their livelihood is at stake. And not everyone is interested in living or surviving or extending the life they have. But if you are interested in living longer, then that is your decision. Or was that decision made without you and you're just an actor, participant, waiting for your next hidden instruction? Well, if we prefer to think we are in charge of our own well-being, then we have one thing that predestiny can never provide, and that is hope. Yes, hope. We know we can do better, and if we try, if we want to be better. Hope is a big push that helps us get there. And predestiny is never interested in hope, because hope does not apply. Hope is useless in a grand scheme, unless when everything is up to and already decided upon, and you are only a vessel being put upon. But what good is a life that is decided from crib to cradle? Even if everything about us is known from the moment we become a person, thinking we can wrestle control from the inevitable, is just the salve we may need to keep us warm in the dark nights and alive in the bright light. All as we shudder together against this foreknowledge that we are only as good as the time we have left stacked against us. Thank you for listening. 
be a human meme.